very much. Uh, this is Governor Bill Lee, and he's done a fantastic job of uh, working with FEMA and the federal government and the state government and everybody, Bill. And uh, this is real devastation, like you'll never see, hopefully, again. This was about as big a tornado as you can have. It was 50 miles long, which is extraordinarily long and a very wide one. And you see what's happened. We saw it from the helicopter very well. You did, too. Uh, I just want to thank you very much for the great job you're doing. We're, we're um, very grateful that you're here. Tennesseans are grateful for your support. We had immediate response from FEMA. Um, you uh, gave a emergency disaster declaration, which will be very helpful to the families in this community and all across Tennessee who have suffered great loss. It's been a it's been a painful, tragic week for our state, but Tennesseans are hopeful. God has used volunteers to bring hope to people all across our state, and your presence here reminds us that people all across the country care about what's happening here, so we're grateful. They do. Yeah, we're grateful. Thank you. Well, we just so much appreciate you being here showing compassion. You called the other night and expressed your sorrow and, and now you've shown up the first time a sitting president has ever been in, a, in our city and county. We so appreciate that. It, it does show hope and compassion to our community and to our residents and, and we appreciate that very much, very much. We live in a great community. It's been a devastation, loss of life like uh, our county has never seen in its history. Uh, but uh, the outpouring of love and support from our community, our first responders, we've got a great group of folks. Uh, it's been a, it's been an outstanding response for those folks and, and from the community, all the love and support. You coming here today just puts a big asterisk on the end of that and shows that the cooperation we've had from the federal government, the state government, to the governor new has been absolutely amazing. We have never seen it before. I've been in emergency services for 35 years before I became county mayor. We have never seen the cooperation and response that we have seen from your administration and from this state's administration. And, and, thank you. Yes, and your instant declaration for our communities last night. Thank you. The great people, it's a great state. And what is the final cap uh, of, of death in uh, the state itself, the entire state. We had um, 25 Tennesseans lost their lives in this. Many injured, thousands without homes and power and supplies, but Tennesseans have shown up. We're the volunteer state. We've shown up by the thousands to surround our neighbors and to provide hope and to provide assistance, and it's been inspiring. and. And we're gonna we're gonna overcome. This state knows how to do that. That's who we are. That's what we do. And um, government can do so much, but only the people can really provide the hope. And they're and they're doing just that in Tennessee. Thank you very much. We're gonna see some of the people that really survived. Some not in good shape, and some in very good shape. Incredibly in good shape. But anybody in these homes, this is a swath that it went right through on this side, on this side of the street. And obviously, anybody in these homes, uh, for the most part, they were killed. Given very little warning, you get a phone call, hey, there's a tornado, and boom, it's on them. They just, they just appeared. And it's, uh, we're working very hard. FEMA's doing a great job. They're doing a great we're job. We're told to absolutely. do the absolute best. Uh, thank you very much. you have any questions? Mr. President, do you have a message for the survivors? Well, I do have a message, and I have a message for the families of uh, those that lost their lives. And we love them. They're special people. It's an incredible place, incredible state, a tremendous heart. Already you see people rebuilding. I mean, it took place uh, literally hours ago, a couple of days, and uh, they're already rebuilding. I've never seen We were flying over. You see the, the blue roofs going up. It's uh, all over the place. They're just great people. It's a great state. And uh, they have great leadership in this state, and that's why it's working out uh, like it is. But still, 25 people at least, and some really very badly hurt. Very, very, very badly hurt. Uh, the mayor was telling me uh, some of the houses came down, and they got here right after that happened, and 
people are walking out of their houses, and you might explain that, what that looked like. It was just, you know, it's a war zone, and it's in the middle of a night. It's very, uh, very uh, difficult to maneuver that. But the first responders, we can't say enough about the first responders that were here, went in, you know, they run in when everybody else is running out, and, and they ran in and, and took care of these folks, uh, police and fire and EMS, and, and we're, it's just, it was an amazing night. We had people that were that were so disoriented, they were wandering out down the roads and through the fields and the woods, trying to get to, to safety and figure out where they could go. And, and uh, our great group of responders took care of them immediately. And uh, it was, we're so sad. They didn't lost. know what happened. No. They just all of a sudden they're watching television or something, and all of a sudden they're outside walking on the street. Yeah. There was one young boy. I heard he he was taken out of the house, and he was. One minute he's in his house, the next minute he's laying in his yard. Uh, it happened that fast. A couple of blocks away. Yes. Yeah. Uh, another he, family he was, was uh, the husband huddled over the, the wife and child, and the, and the roof came off, and he was sucked out. They were all sucked out of the yard. They survived. But I think it's important to note, too, that here in Cookville and Putnam County, while there was 25 deaths in the state, 18 of them were right, right here, here in our city and county, eight of them on this particular street. And so, uh, you know, we can continue to ask for prayers for our community, for these families that are going to be burying people in the next, over the next week. Thank you. President Trump, have you been able to speak to any of the, uh, the libraries or any of the victims' families while you've been out today? Yeah, we're doing it, and we're doing it now. We're going to also, I think, stop at the church where there are a lot of people huddled up in the church. It's a cold day, and they're all huddled up. We're going to go to the church also. We're seeing some of the people over here. President, on another sort of tragic topic regarding the coronavirus, are you considering refer or deferring taxes uh, for the airlines, cruise ships, and travel companies that are being hard hit by this? We're looking at different options, uh, different options. We did get tremendous job numbers this morning. They were, you know, if you add the 80,000 to the 270, you know, they were talking in the 350,000 range. Uh, but right now, that's not something we want to be talking about. Okay? Thank Mr. you. Mr. President, you uh, approved federal funding for yeah. Tennessee. Can you tell us when we should expect to see that money come to Very the Very quickly, almost momentarily. I did it. The mayor called me. The uh, governor called me. We had calls from a lot of people. That was an immediate emergency, but we spoke and uh, we approved it within minutes of the call. Do you know about how much? Uh, it to be determined. What they need. We're going to take care of what they need. We'll be doing assessments, and that helps determine what the numbers will be. And the way it works is as we determine the amount, that's how the numbers will be uh, assessed, and that's how the, what the assistance will be. Much of that money goes to help the people that get just wiped out. That's right. They're wiped out. They have nothing. And, and, many, and many people died. We've been talking to some people out here throughout the past couple of days. Um, do you have any words for them that you may not be able to meet today but have been devastated by this? Well, I love them. I love them very much. Uh, that's why I'm here. Some people wouldn't be here. I, I, there was no way that I wasn't going to stop here first, and I was going to do it yesterday, but they asked me for one more day because they, they, were, looking for, they were looking for bodies, believe it or not, up until just now. They're now they pretty much covered sure. everything. But... Uh, and just uh, God be with them. And we're going to be with them. We're going to be with them all the way. And I can tell you, uh, the governor feels the same as I do. And the mayors, I want to just uh, congratulate you because uh, the job you've done, everybody's talking about it. They haven't slept in uh, 48 hours. Neither of you come to think of it. So uh, we're going to go see the people now and say hello to them and uh, do whatever you can do. It's tough. A lot of them have lost people within the family. One family got entirely wiped out. Uh, there was one case, though, I heard a young man was, an eight-year-old boy was ripped out, yes. flown to a certain area, and dropped off at the street two or three blocks away. And they found him walking. And he said, I just flew in the air. And he was walking down the street two blocks away from his home. And how did his parents do? We don't. We're not sure exactly how they turned out. They were found deceased. They, they were deceased. deceased. He was the only surviving they were dead. member of the household. Lost his sibling as well. So it took him, and he said, 
I was carried by the air away from my house. He, he came was back. What is it? The house over there yeah. and dropped in the neighborhood back behind. He us. was over there. And his parents were uh, killed. And, and sister. And his sister. So we're going to go see some of the folks. Okay. Thank you. Hi, here we are. Me. 